techniques that we can apply to integration by parts. So we've had the standard uh, integration by parts technique, which we then built onto that, the idea of repeated integration by parts. The first additional technique was using a tabular method to do repeated integration by parts. Nice little additional technique here is using integration by parts to integrate functions which otherwise we couldn't integrate. In other words, we're not actually integrating a product of terms, we are actually just integrating a single term. So if you think about it, at the moment, we don't necessarily have a standard integral for, for instance, the integral of log x or the inverse sine of x. So these are two expressions or functions that we don't yet um, have a standard integral for. We're not able to integrate. So we can actually use integration by parts to do that. However, integration by parts requires two terms a u term and a v dash term, which is therefore slightly puzzling as to how we can actually use it when we just have one term. In this case, example 31, the natural log of x squared is our function that we're trying to integrate. So what we do is we introduce what we call a dummy function, and it's as simple as introducing a multiple, a multiplier of 1. So if I were to rewrite the integral of log x squared with respect to x as the log of x squared multiplied by 1 with respect to x, now I have a product of terms. And as normal with our integration by parts, what we would normally do is choose for u the term in our product which is easier to differentiate and we choose for v dash the one that we can integrate. Now there isn't a choice to be made here because the only thing we can do with the log of any term is differentiate it. So even though we're actually trying to integrate the log of x squared to start off with we actually are just going to differentiate it. We can nominate for v dash the other term, which in this case happens to be 1. So the derivative, u dash, is 1 over x squared multiplied by the derivative of the inside term, which is 2x. So we end up with 2x over x squared, and that simplifies to 2 over x. Okay. When we've got v dash is 1, v therefore is the integral of 1 with respect to x, which will just give us x plus some constant of integration, which of course we're going to ignore at present. So we've integrated uh, v dash to give us the function v, we've differentiated u to give us the function u dash. So we can use our traditional method for integration by parts, we're going to replace the original integral with uv minus the integral of u dash v with respect to x. And we can substitute in u and v, so u is the log of x squared multiplied by v which is x minus the integral of u dash which is 2 over x multiplied by v, which is x. The first product, well, there's not much we can do. x times the log of x squared, I think. And we can simplify this integral. The x's cancel out. And we're just left with the integral of 2 with respect to x, which means that we know that the integral of 2 with respect to x is going to be 2x plus a constant of integration. So we can say that the log, the integral of log of x squared with respect to x is x times the log of x squared minus 2x plus c. And what we have there is the integral of a single term, which started off as the log of x squared 
by introducing our dummy function, we're able to use integration by parts to integrate something for which we don't know the standard integral. So that's a nice technique, um, and it's something in the next example we'll have a look at the inverse uh, sine function, and we'll do the same thing again. So it's a nice wee thing to be able to grasp. Have a look at this one, and then example 32 as well.